Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of the Rule 34 Podcast. I'm your host, Jack, joined by my fellow co-host... Dominic, with an inflamed eye. Wow, uh, you want to explain that right away? Yes, uh, yesterday morning, the exact, I woke up as normal, however, um... I felt a bit of a pain in my left, uh, not eyeball spe- uh, specifically, but like the, um, like the eyelid just felt weird. Yeah. And uh, I, so I just looked in the mirror and I looked at my left eye and then it seemed that I, it, it's inflamed. I'm like, man. And for those who don't know, an inflamed eye could possibly lead to, um, a lazy eye per se, mm-hmm. or even pink eye. Who knows? Who knows? I see. But that's that's the situation at the moment. You've been doing anything <laughs> like any type of medicine or home remedies for it? I have not. No, this is really just. Uh, I mean, it wasn't a problem like a hundred percent until right now, where when I just looked at myself again in the mirror, and it's it's, it's gone a bit more like uh, inflamed more than what it was before. So I'm gonna have to look at some. Uh, some uh, solutions after this, but so far it's not that bad. It, it's just a visible. Uh, how would you say it? Like a, it's visible, uh, like a black eye. Yeah, it's visible, but it doesn't. It's not painful at the moment, unless I touch it. And yeah, but mm-hmm. so far it's manageable. I see. I see. Yes, 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 yes. Well, I hope you can get that under control. Hopefully, and nothing. There's no like terrible side effects or after effects. Thank you, thank you. But so, we recorded last week, right? We talked about Overwatch characters. And their drip. Yeah, okay, okay, I remember. So, yeah, we talked about that. Anything else happened from then till now for you, Dom? Um, <clears throat> I've been given more days to work. I guess that's something. Uh, school has been coming up already. So, I've been already setting up for... um. Uh, this uh, fall semester 2021's classes. Uh, anything else that would have happened? I'm not sure. Uh, yeah. Nothing else has truly really happened aside from that. Uh, except that there's been some particular moments while at the job. If you want me to talk to you about it. it pretty funny, I ain't going to lie. Alright, go mm-hmm. ahead. Okay, so uh, at work, what we no- normally do is that when someone wants to pay with like a credit card or something like that, right? They have to show some sort of form of ID, right? Because before we had situations where people brought in IDs, but they were obviously not the same person as compared to what the name was said. Mm. And so uh, I believe we got like a monthly, uh, I think every month or every two months, we get like a um, like some sort of letter from the mails uh, that states how many like... Uh, Refunds were made uh, through like uh, bank uh, was bank backtracks. I think it's called mm. where like if you see like money taken from your account that was not supposedly from you yourself, then you could just ask the bank to give you the money because it's just fraud at the end of the day. So we re- uh, we got two cases of that where we didn't catch that there was two people where they had stolen credit cards and they used that to buy some of our food, right? Mm-hmm. And so okay, so now getting back to the situation. There's, well, there was this one time who I have asked one person for their identification to use their credit card. And what they showed me was their mugshot from the fact that they just got out of prison. Really? They, yeah. They, they showed me their, their mugshot, a clearly state of the name. I didn't get to read the charges, however. I think they tried to hide that themselves. But they were able to show off their mugshot. They were able to show, show off... Uh, the date of birth and you know all that stuff that states who they are, but you didn't even bring like a driver's license or like a or like you know a California state license. They, they just brought in their mug charge. I mean the mug shot uh, for their charges. Hmm. But I mean, well, maybe they're in the I'm, process of getting all that stuff because you know depending on how long they were in jail, it might have been outdated and stuff. True. True. That could also be a situation. I uh, don't know. I'm just assuming from what I'm just what I was just seeing, but. I mean, I wouldn't expect someone to bring in, you know, a, a mugshot charge, you know, to a pizza place just to verify that they're them. But I mean, that, that's pretty much the only interesting happen 
and nothing really else happened so far. Uh, I was able to finally pay off my PlayStation and my television off. So that means I'm pretty much debt free for the time being. Nice, nice. Uh, I don't really have anything else to buy. I mean, I, I got a bunch of things I want to buy, but nothing else to pay off for the time being. So we're, we're Gucci flip flops for the time being. Nice, nice. Yes, yes, yes. How about you, how about you Joseph? How, how's life? How's, how's everything? Still just laying here every day. Not much you can do with this foot. Uh, I have an appointment, I believe, next week. And depending on the x-rays, they might take out the pin. And oh, I see. I don't, I don't know how that's going to go down because uh, I don't think anyone in my family, including me, wants to be there when they take it out. Will it be through surgery again? Because I'm assuming it's inserted inside of you, right? Inside your foot. Yeah, and it's sticking out, so... Oh. I don't know if they're just going to pull it out. Like, if they're going to numb my foot and pull it out, you know? Right, right. But it, I mean, I it's like, I don't think anyone wants to watch that just slowly come out of my foot. I'm pretty sure they're just going to... I mean, I don't think they're just going to yank it out. Or, like, even... I think they're going to throw in some sort of solution before and then they just, like, uh, stitch you up a little bit. Just so nothing's exposed. But... I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what they're going to do, but uh, it's it's not looking good. Or it, nah. it's look, everything's going fine, you know, but just like the thought of them taking it out is not looking good. Uh, mm. Any other news, though? Anything else? Um, oh, what else if you what allow happened? me again... You know. Yes, yes. So, uh, the WWE released another person. And really? the craziest thing is they released, uh, his name was under the company, Bray Wyatt. He was one of, like, their biggest money makers. Right. And, again, you can only go off of speculations and reports, you know. And apparently the reports are saying, again, it was budget cuts, you know. Really? Yeah. But... Well, it's, isn't that kind of ironic? Yeah. It's funny because, you know, he brings in a lot of their money through merch. He's one of their more important guys. And stuff, you know. And obviously, they they literally were just boasting about having record, like, money numbers. Profit numbers. Right. And then they just release him. And, like, the thought is that, you know, they have so many guys on big contracts... So they're cutting the guys with big contracts so that they can, you know, get more money and stuff. Because, like, back then when I told you about the other releases, like, there was one guy whose contract was, like, a million per year for, like, the next five years. So it was, like, cutting him gives them five mil, you know? Jeez. Right. But it was, like, it was was such a crazy thing to see because he's been such a prominent figure in the company. And everyone was, like, how the heck do you let that guy go? Right, right. But to me, it was like, uh, and this is why I said, if you allow me, uh, the biggest thing to me was that uh, I don't know if you remember exactly, but I, I've talked about how uh, a certain wrestler who went by the name of Brody Lee, he passed away in December, and he was only like forty something, and uh, he was very close with Bray Wyatt, both like. Uh, in like when they were wrestling together because they used to be a part of a group with uh, two other men right and so you know very close they were like brothers so when that all happened uh, you didn't really see Bray Wyatt on TV for a while <clears throat> because of the fact that uh, you know he just lost someone who was like a brother to him you don't expect him to just be back like it's nothing because you got to hit him well. So he kind of like took a lot of time off. He showed up for WrestleMania, but lost very quickly. And the the thought was, you know, he's probably still dealing with it. You know, got to give him his time because, you know, that was only, what, four months after, you know? Yeah. And apparently there were rumors he was going to make his return at the event called SummerSlam this August, which is in like two weeks or so. But, like, my main thing when I saw he was released, you know, 
I was just like, I really hope he's in a good mindset. You know, I really hope he's in. A, I really hope he's doing well mentally. You know. Yeah. Because it's only been seven months since he lost that brother. You know, and so it's like. Well, a lot of people were getting mad at WWE and trying to like speculate where he'd go next. A lot of us, including myself, were just like, "I hope he's doing well. I hope, you know, he's in the right mindset and he has a good support group around him." Because the fact that he's been off TV all this time, other than like two instances, show that he's still dealing with with the loss. Right. Right. But so there's a lot of speculation. I mean, he he himself has already uh started like uh hinting at what's next and stuff but for the most part i don't think he's coming back at least anytime this year i know because he has the 90 day no compete clause which ends in like october november ish right but even then i don't know if he'd come back within this year maybe next year but i don't think i'd see him return to like any wrestling company anytime this year But still, you know, it's just really weird to keep seeing cuts with the reasoning of budget. Right, yeah. When you're I, I think to... it's just... Yeah. I, I think it's just... I just don't see it as necessary. I, I don't really see why they do it. Yes, money reasons, I guess. But, like, when, like, the reasons, like, are just so unnecessary, it's, I, I don't know. I just don't know why. I don't know. Yeah. And then uh tying to the releases, a lot of the ones that got released the first time, their ninety day note compete clauses are up soon, so hoping to see where a lot of them land soon. Right. Oh, and then uh another thing. Have you been seeing that uh the Pokemon Go controversy? I have not, no, what what's that about? So when the pandemic happened, you know, obviously people couldn't go out and stuff. Right. And so Niantic, the company behind it, they added like a updates where, you know, it increased, you know, your, your, uh, what do you call it? Like your radius, essentially. Yeah. You know, like the, the, the circle around you, you know, all of that, like they increased it so that you can reach stops from further away and stuff. They added the remote raid passes so that you can, like, do the raids, like, without having to be at that area. You know, added all this stuff, and then recently they came out with the news that they're going to be updating and, like, removing a lot of those features. Like, reducing, you know, how far your circle goes so that you can reach things, like, how far your reach is. And a lot of the community was angry at it, and especially because, like, a lot of other ones were saying, you know... Those updates helped out with the people who are, like, you know, disabled and stuff and can't really get out, you know. It was like those right. updates helped because now they were able to reach stops that, you know, they weren't able to before because, you know, they can't go out and stuff. They can't they can't go out and spin those stops or they can't go out that far, you know. Yeah. And so they came up with, like, all of this, uh, like, debate and stuff. And I'm pretty sure they even got like a petition with over like a hundred thousand people on for it. Uh, uh-huh. And Niantic just flat out like ignored it and basically said, Oh, like we've heard the community's uh feedback but we're not like we're not changing anything. We're still going through with the updates and changes. Yeah. And and so what's going on now? Was that the, uh, the same situation at the time? Being? I think it's still the same situation where the fan, the the players and the fans, you know, of the game obviously are still like trying to go against these changes. But I right. you know it seems like Niantic's not even wanting to change. It's funny though because a hundred thousand people signing a petition for it, and like you, you think that makes some change, but nope. Hmm. Really, really. I don't, I don't know, man. There's a, there's something with companies just being really weird with their fan bases. I, I think it's... Wait, what were you there? No, you go ahead. No, I, I think it's it might be in that... um. They call it... They don't want to go through, like, the developmental changes because it's, like... 
there's a reason why they specifically do things and it's probably just in terms of profit or, or like how would you say it um not changing the core gameplay that they wanted to portray yeah. right maybe maybe I mean, it's kind of like the same thing with like any other game where like people don't want something, but they, yet they still implement it just because they know um, it's 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 their core way to make profit or like their core developmental gameplay uh, like uh, feedback loop per se, in which they don't want to change from or else they themselves are gonna think that it's gonna completely change the entire. Uh, player base and how they play from what they originally attended yeah. or something maybe the, only, you know, the only flaw in that logic is that you look at how much they benefited from the pandemic because it was like when they added remote raid passes you know a bunch of people are going to be buying those to do the raids because then it means you know they don't have to go walk out to do it they don't got to go drive out to do it you know right but still, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see where this goes and see if the player base can actually change things or not. Right, right, right. And then real quick, before we get into today's topic, did you see the news about the new Apple update? The, uh, actually, I'm not even updating my phone. The, oh, was no, it? not the new I, one. They're coming out with an update like 15 or iOS 15 or something like that? Yeah. Did you see the like news and controversy about it? That actually did not hear. What, what what's it about? So apparently, with the update, I don't know if it's a thing you can enable, disable. I don't know what, but Apple is going to be able to scan through everyone's photos and then send them to a like a human to review in case the images are, you know. Uh, I, I you you know I don't want to say the word but illegal you know if you know what I'm yeah. getting at so it's yeah, like yeah. if they scan through and its software is able to detect any illegal images it'll send it to a human to review right and so everyone's like yeah I don't know if I want an iPhone anymore oof because everyone was like, oh, well, what do you have to worry about if you don't have illegal images, right? But the thing is, it's not just that. It's if they're, think about it, softwares aren't perfect. There could be a flaw and it could potentially get you in legal trouble. And not only right. that, it means someone else is seeing the images that maybe you don't want shared. Yeah, does this, this does sound... Yeah, this does sound pretty bad. Yeah, so everyone's like, well, it's time to switch to Android. Someone needs to, like, sue Apple for this because it was like, it's a total invasion of privacy because it's like, not like the software's looking at all your images and then if it notices anything, it's sending it to an actual person to look through, you know? Right. But, like, isn't it like, I, I, isn't it like I think it's like meant for like protection for kids? No, I mean yes, it yes, sounds yes, pretty bad. I think about kids, it. Yes, but the thing is, again, can you really trust a software to accurately depict things? Because apparently, it's been like the software has been like it's ran images through, so it knows what to detect. Right. But like, how is it going to be able to distinguish certain things? You know. Right. And the biggest thing that people were saying is. What if someone finds a way to hack into it, finds a way to use the same exact like software that Apple's planning to use to hack into other people's phones to get a hold of their images, you know? Right. Because we've seen similar things happen before, you know, where, you know, someone's phone is able to get hacked and their images get leaked and stuff, you know? Right. So it's like there's a, there's a ton of controversy over it. Right, right. Jeez. So, yeah, the, I don't know. Yeah, this Com- a bunch bad. of companies in hot water right now, huh? Yeah. But I just, I just don't see the... Why- I mean, yeah, there's a pro- the privacy thing, but, like, uh, how would you say? It? Like, this could still affect practically everyone else in terms of their photos. Yeah. Uh, like, you know, pe- people keep, you know, their specific photos in their specific phones. 
for their specific reasons. And if Apple is just going to be digging up through all of it, and if and 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 if Apple was able to, I don't know, somehow get a hold of it through their uh, through like let's say a malfunction from the software or the AI that just magically picked out of some person's phone who maybe has had illegal photos, even though they were not illegal, that must be just horribly embarrassing. Yeah. Especially because um, if, if by any chance those photos were to get into like some sort of like um, placed in a, like in a, in a illegal, you know, batch of photos for this person's phone, it's probably going to be used in the court of law if, you know, held against them in a court of trial. Mm-hmm. If they're like truly being legal, and then everyone's gonna know. Mm-hmm. So it'll be interesting where this all goes. Same as the Niantic thing, you know. A lot of controversies with companies lately. Not yes, yes, yes. But we'll move on to lighter topics, or at least hopefully, as you mentioned at the end of last week's episode. Today's topic is if you could make three quote-unquote selfish wishes what would they be by selfish we mean you know you know whenever like someone asks oh well what what would you wish for you know it's like there's always that one person that like tries to be the good person you know and is like oh i'd wish for world peace not that it's bad you know but like they like say stuff like world peace uh end world hunger you know and that's not bad things which are but it's like it almost feels like once someone says that everyone then has to like change their answer to seem more of a better person than rather than you know wishing for something they would actually want you know or not that they would actually right. want but they personally would want right so going along those lines let's say someone or let's say you were granted the ability to make three wishes and you didn't have to worry about none of that what would your three wishes end up being Now, I I was always struggling with the third one, but I think I've come up with all three of mine. But Dominic, did you, did you come up with yours yet? Yes, yes. I'm I'm struggling with the third one, but but yes. yes. All right. Uh, now, how do you, do you want me to go? Do, this? do you want to like go to... one by one? We each give one, or do you want to have all of us list each three? I think it's better one by one. All right, there you right, go. Yeah, you'll start. Okay. First one. Um, it's not selfish, but more like more of a helpful type of thing is to be able to be absolutely and natively fluent in every single language in writing, speak, uh, speaking, conversation and reading. And I think that's like, I think that's like might be the, the most useless, like wish personally. I agree with you. Cause that is also my wish. I think about it. That is also oh, one of my wishes as well. Interesting. This is a coincidence. I mean, okay, it's not really one of those things where it's like super useful. You know, like this is gonna make you, or it, it could technically make you super rich because imagine all the translating jobs you'd get, True. and stuff. And True. especially because at that point you could just freelance, and instead of being in a contract, you take the highest offers for one time things over and over. You know, but <laughs> it's one of the more where it's like. It's like people would kind of be intrigued by it, you know? Right. But go go into it more and I'll elaborate too. But it's one of the more interesting wishes on my list. Yeah, because if, like, in, in, in the general sense, you could speak to more people. Uh, just like you said, you could, uh, you're could you offered more, like, uh, possible, like, opportunities in terms of translation. But, uh, but not only that, but, you like, social connections... If that makes sense, because if you're to go to, to some foreign country, that they're gonna think, oh, this, you know, this American does not know what we're speaking. You'd be able to like clearly listen to them and maybe even talk to them, which could, you know, blow their minds away. I'm pretty sure you've seen those like those YouTube videos where, like, oh, uh, some American dude speaks fluent Chinese, yeah, and all the people there were like, you know, astonished of how perfect or how well sounding his uh, his uh, Chinese was or Mandarin. I might be wrong. Yeah. I don't know. And uh, I, I think you allude to this as well, but, you know, when I describe the wish to anyone whenever I talk about this, I always say I want when I make this wish, I want it to be that I'm able to speak it perfectly, write it perfectly, think, think, you know, like thinking in the language, you know, how like we think in English, you know, 
think it right. think the language perfectly uh what else is there translate it perfectly you know like from language to language right. be able to translate things perfectly uh, i'm trying to think of what else oh and then the one thing i add is you know it's not just going to be a jumbled mess it's like like there has to be something that i'm able to like trigger it from language to language you know like even if it's something as simple as all right now spanish now french and then i'm automatically able to switch to that Mm -hmm. but like that's one of the things i add to that wish too is that like i want to be able to just switch through and do everything that pertains to language you know write speak yeah translate true 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 and and question like uh, all right let, let me let me see let's say you were like absolutely uh, fluent in spanish right would you just use your skills how how would you say it um how would you say this how what well, i was going to say this. to like go, like go to like a foreign country and like just use like let's say uh maybe spanish german uh you know uh germany what i'm saying any other language and you were to go to that foreign and you would take like those like uh like those classes of pertaining of their language would you just want to you just go just to absolutely destroy all the students like like when taking like like school tests based on the language that would be kind of funny to do cuz it, yeah, it, it ties just, into the thing well, that you said earlier you know like you're able to just speak it so perfectly when for the most part they don't think you're going to be able to or imagine like pulling up to like like some like almost like rural area you know where like it's not that many people and stuff or like a like a small country and just right. like perfectly speaking their language or like right. the biggest one that i throw in is uh you know latin you know people call it a dead language just imagine being able to actually like speak right and like translate it just that'd be that'd be crazy Imagine pulling up to uh, Egypt and just being able to perfectly translate any like hieroglyphics you see. Yeah, yeah, now that you mention that, I feel like that's gonna be super important in terms of, like being able to decode. Yeah, hi- 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 hieroglyphics. Dang, it's one that people wouldn't think makes money, like a wish that would make money, but you'd make a lot of money, especially if you get your name out there as someone who who can uh, translate almost every single language. You know. You'd probably you have a bunch of world governments hitting you up to hire you. Do, do you think that being able to understand every single piece of literature and text would you think you'd be able to like decode like the, the Zodiac Killer's like symbols? Maybe. I mean, Dude, it, it this depends is depends on it depends on how far the extent of uh, your wish goes, you know. Because right. if you're wishing for like every language, does it also count as? Does it also count for the ones that you know aren't official languages, aren't like popular? You know. Right. So it, it's a definitely an interesting wish, you know, and I I find it funny that both of us actually had that without even knowing. Yeah, because to the viewers who don't know, we're supposed to out of these on our own, but uh, this first wish. Was just coincidentally the same? Yeah. What happens most of the time is we just come up with a topic with each other and then we usually do our own separate research, our own separate, you know, when the tier list come out, we do our own separate tier list. And it's not until the point that we start recording and talking to each other that we hear each other's opinion, which, you know, adds more to the getting the, the raw, genuine reactions on this. Yes, yes, yes. But so do, what about wish number two, Dom? Or if you're going from three and up, well, it still doesn't matter. It's wish number two. I just realized. Yes. So uh, I was thinking of like time traveling, mm. but um, I, I, how would you call it? I feel like that would be a really horrible thing to do because if you were to try to alter time, then that means your current present presence would be destroyed mm-hmm. if that makes sense and you yourself would cease to exist yeah but. That, that's that's one thing i think of too is like it's like the moment you change something you realize your current self is going to stop existing yeah 
Which is why, you know, a lot of the time travel, like, stuff where it's, like, comics, movies and stuff, it never makes sense because it's, like, as soon as they change one thing, that current person should not exist then, the one that went back in time, you know? Right. Like, let's say you had a list of things you had to change. The moment you change one, you wouldn't be able to accomplish the other stuff because you'd stop existing at that point. True, true, true. And okay. I've also I've also had this like question in terms. I'm oh, sorry for interrupting, but I just want I want to say this real quick. Um, let's say you were to alter something that's like not related to you at all. Let's say you know we he, we live here in California, but let's say you we travel back in time, and let's say we went all the way to I don't know Switzerland, and we just knocked over some dude's cup of coffee. Would that change? Would that alter? Would that make our current present cease to exist? Maybe not ours, but maybe somewhere else. But but still, though, it's not the same. Yeah, true. But like, I I don't know. It's stupid, but like, it it, it's in the logical sense of it it falls into the ballpark of just making sort of some sort of sense. I mean, we saw crazier things. Look what happened when someone got rejected from art school. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. I understand the context, but the contest, but context. Yeah. So, uh, what is uh, what is your second wish? So I was thinking of I was thinking of two things, and it's both in terms of money. Uh, If I could time travel without hurting my current presence, I'd probably like invest every single dollar I have into Bitcoin once it grew, uh, once it started uh, existing, or um, how'd you say it? I'd be able to take at least one or two dollars from every single person's bank account in the United States and keep it as mine. Interesting. Only one dollar from every single person. Now you have me needing to search this up. Because you can't, like, because as we explained, uh, uh, me and Jack have said before, I think off, off, uh, off the mic, if we try to logically say that we wanted to like just have an extra one billion dollars in our account, that would literally just destroy the economy, rendering our money useless. So there'd be no point in just inserting a billion or a million or like a million's fine, but like just throwing like I like say a trillion or a billion dollars into our account would just it, it would only render it useless, and it would only render a wish useless. So if being able to somehow hack into everyone's bank accounts. Steal at least one or two dollars just so it doesn't seem that suspicious. And then just send it back to us. That would literally be like the best bank heist that technically never occurred. You feel me? You feel me? Yeah. Interesting. So is that your second wish? Yeah, that's pretty much, yep, that's pretty much my second wish. Alright. My second wish is to be able to make any form of music that I want available. Interesting. Now, what I mean by this is, you know how there's so many times where a certain song isn't on Apple Music or Spotify, and it's only on SoundCloud, it's only on YouTube, you know? Right. I would want it so that, it's not that everything becomes immediately available, you know? But it's like, let's say I hear a song and it's only on YouTube, I... Snap of my fingers, bam, it's available on Apple Music and Spotify now. Right, right. Boom, it's available on this platform, it's available there and there. It, it's random, but for someone like me who enjoys music, it's always such a difficulty to have to go app to app, app to app, you know, in order to get certain songs, you know? Right. So that would just be my second wish, very simple, just if some if there's like a song that's not available, I make it available. Interesting. What about your third wish? I was thinking about this one, and I think it's to, like, master every skill set that I've ever possibly wanted to, like, come across. Mm. Like, like, how do you call it? Like, be super efficient and be, like, super effective in, in, in anything I do. So, like, let's say, uh, like, uh, I don't know, I want to go into construction or, like, I want to go into, I don't know, like bodybuilding. You know, I'd be able to, like, Officially do everything without struggling. 
I see. Or like, let's say if I ever wanted to learn how to, I don't know, become a weaponsmith. I don't know. I don't know. I want to make katanas or something like that. And I'd be able, like, from the get go, just instantly know what I'm doing. Instantly be super resourceful. You know, I feel like that might be like the best option in terms of like. I mean, it doesn't have to just stay stay like stay to like what I just said. I could also go into like let's say uh, computer engineering, and then I could probably like land myself a good job. You know, with many opportunities that might open up if I just you know display my skills with like you know good, um, good work ethics and you know whatnot. And I feel like that could expand way even more beyond that. Like in terms of like maybe like. It could go into like the social skills type of thing. I'd be able to like talk to people without like being nervous or like be able to start a conversation without making it sound very awkward or like make it sound like small talk. Mm -hmm. I feel like that could be like a very good, I don't know, just, just being able to master everything might, might be overkill, but like that, that could be like the perfect ordeal for like the everyday, you know, life. Does that make sense? Mm, I see. Yeah, what about you, Jack? So my third wish... Hmm, it's kind of been the one that I've struggled the most with, because it's like... The other one is kind of like ones I've already had in mind, but it was like... When it came to the third wish, I really didn't know. And like, right. like a couple of like ideas that came to mind, but the one that I decided to settle with much like the language one, much like the music one connects to with me as a person and my different hobbies. My third wish would be that I would be able to perfectly translate my ideas and thoughts onto paper when it comes to art. Because have you ever had an idea of what you wanted to draw, what you wanted it to look like, but you can never get it to look like it? True, true. Yeah, because, yeah, you actually got a point. Yeah, so, and that's one of my biggest struggles is getting something to look like it. So, what I wish would be to have that ability where it's like, oh, uh, I want to draw, you know, uh, I, I don't know, you know, like some, like, let's say I take a picture of like I don't know outside my window of like the place outside and it's like, you know that kind of counts as it being my general thought of what I want to draw and I'm able to just you know perfectly execute on it you know right 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 or I don't know something more absurd I want to I want to draw a dog with a lion's head and wings on it boom able to do it perfectly you know yeah. Or, you know, pertaining to this, you know, it's like, I want to draw a character of you and I, you know, to give people a visual representation. Boom, able to do it like nothing. Right, right, right. I like Because, you know, I think that's one of the biggest struggles for people, especially like artists. It's like having that idea. And it almost applies to everything, you know, writers, uh, song producers, you know. It's like they usually always have a general idea of how they want to do it, but there's so many times where they just can't get it right. Or not that they can't get it right, but they can't get it done the way they want. Because, I mean, how many times have you seen someone do an art and you tell them it looks good, but they can't accept that it looks good because it's not coming out the way they pictured they wanted it to be, you know? Yeah, yeah. Where it, it could be even something as little as, like, a certain color is off. Like, it's not the correct shade. It's not the correct uh, medium, per se, you know, or the correct value, you know? Right. So it's like being able to do a perfectly execute on that. And it wouldn't even be a thing of I want to use it for money as, like, you know, the language one. I was saying how, you know, you could use that to make money. Because, like, obviously with this, you could make a lot of money because you could just come up with an idea or see someone else's idea, like, you know, commission wise, if someone commissions you to do an artwork, right? And that you'd be able to do it perfectly however they said they wanted or you wanted it, you know, and boom, you know, you would think easy money. But for me, it's more so just the personal sense of getting the most out of my art and 
feeling accomplished with it, you know? That yeah. every time I come up with an idea, I'll be able to perfectly execute on it. Now, right, that right. doesn't necessarily mean I get it done on the first try. Because, you know, you obviously still want to have those trial and error phases because that's what helps you improve as an artist. But I guess it's that satisfaction of knowing that you are going to get it done correctly, you know? And that reassurance that it's going to get done correctly. Yeah. But Interesting. That, that's my third wish. Uh, I think I think I'm fine with my list. I mean, maybe sometime down the line I'll think of something where I'm just like, oh, that would even be a better wish, you know? But I think... I think that would be my choice. Yes, it's not bad. I like it. It would definitely like pertain to what uh, what you want to do. And not only that, but um, how do you say it? Become perfection, if that makes sense. Yeah. I think that's like the best way to put it. But yeah. And then... Mm-hmm. Uh, one more low key wish uh, for the podcast to blow up. Yes, that too. Yeah, I think that would be a wish of both wars. No, I think that'd be the best although, option. Who, who knows? Maybe it, it, might, it, it, it might be it, a good thing. It might be a bad thing. You never know. You got the time do its thing. Yep, that is the biggest thing. Time will do its thing, and we will just simply have to wait and see what happens. All I know is I am excited for whenever all this ends because it hopefully means me and you can sit in a room together and not have to worry about Wi-Fi going out or, uh, you know, connection errors or something not going right, you know? Yeah. And then it means we can finally record on the the laptop software instead of through the phone. That too. Because then if we do it through laptop, we can actually connect some good mics. Yeah, I mean, but then again, we do need the 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 funds to do that. I'm pretty sure they're super expensive. But I have a mic. And then I could always, I I have money saved up when it comes to the podcast. I could always spend it to, to get another yeah. mic. But so got about two minutes left, and we'll close right here. Uh, we don't have a topic in mind for next week. But for the most part, we have a list. And the only reason we don't, like, announce things at the end, usually, is because uh, we always like to let the week play out and see if anything interesting comes up, you know? Yeah. Because you never want to feel stuck and be like, oh, well, we already said we're going to discuss this. We can't go back on it. And then also, uh, you know, you don't want to end up seeing a topic come up because you had something else. You, and because we only do it one time a week, it's like if we talk about it the next week, it's already old news at that point. Right, right. But so we'll close out here. I've been your host, Jack, joined by my fellow co host, Dominic. I want to thank y'all for joining us for another episode of the Rule 34 podcast. As always, you know, we mentioned it at the end of every episode, you know, the door is open for anyone and everyone who wants to come on to this podcast talk about anything and everything with us uh and that's about it you know as always if it exists we have an opinion on it thank you all and we'll catch y'all next week in the next episode see ya